Welcome to this student services tutorial video on completing the financial aid verification worksheet. If you have received an email stating that you were selected for verification and must complete the verification worksheet, this video will demonstrate how to do so. Before we begin, there are a few important things to know in order to proceed. First, the verification worksheet appears in a pop-up window, so you will need to turn off the pop-up blocker in your browser, usually found in the browser settings menu. Second, you will need to submit a signed hard copy of the verification worksheet as well as the online submission. So before you submit the online verification worksheet, you will have an opportunity to print a copy. Be prepared to print it or save it as a PDF to your computer if you are unable to print while completing the worksheet. This is important because you will not have another opportunity to access the completed worksheet for printing. From the MyPack Portal homepage, Select Main Menu. In the drop-down menu, select the Campus Finances tab and choose View Financial Aid. Scroll down and select the financial aid year you wish to submit a verification form for. Then, choose the Documents tab at the top of the page. Scroll down to the Document box, and next to the Verification Worksheet title, under the Form column, there should be a Form icon. Click on it to go to the Verification Worksheet. If the verification worksheet does not appear, double check to make sure your pop-up blocker is indeed off. This is what the verification worksheet looks like. Go through and fill out all of your information, making sure not to leave any fields blank or else you will not be able to submit the form. Choose whether or not you are filling out a new or corrected form. Next, select your dependency status. If you are a dependent student, you will need to fill out your parents' income information as well as your own. There are four tabs to the verification worksheet, or three if you are an independent student. You will begin by filling out the demographic information. Be sure to fill out every box as the form will not let you continue until you do. Once all of your demographic information is filled out, Click Next. Next, you will fill out your household information. This includes your parents' marital status and the people in your parents' household. Read through the list of qualifications. Start with yourself. Type your name, your age, and your relationship, which would just be self, and the college you attend, NCSU. Click Add. Continue to fill out the information for other individuals in your parents' household, making sure to click Add after every individual. When you finish, click Next. Now you will input your own income information. Select your status as a tax return filer or tax return non-filer. Scroll through the page and report all income, taxable and non-taxable. For all fields that ask whether you received income from that source, please input the dollar amount, if applicable, and click Add. For fields that ask for a dollar amount regardless, do the same or put zero if you did not receive any income in that field. For example, under the Child Support field, Ms. Wolf would leave a zero and move on. Click Next at the bottom of the page after all fields have been completed. Now you will fill out your parents' income information. This selection is only applicable to dependent students, so if you have an independent status, you will not be asked to fill out this section. Check the box that applies for your parents' use of the IRS DRT. Then, report all untaxed income. Again, being sure to input the dollar amount where applicable and making sure to click Add after every item. For fields that ask for a dollar amount regardless of whether they are applicable to you, input a dollar value or zero if not applicable. You will notice at the bottom of this section that you cannot click the Next button. First, you must scroll all the way down to the bottom and carefully read the information and steps. You will see that after completing the form, you will need to click Print before you can finish the online submission. Remember that a signed hard copy of the verification worksheet 
must be turned in as well as the online submission. Be sure that you are either connected to a printer or able to save the worksheet as a PDF to print later, as you will not be able to access your completed worksheet again. Once ready, acknowledge that you have read through the steps and click the print button in the bottom left. If there are any errors in the form, you will not be able to continue until you correct them. Print or save your verification worksheet. This step is very important. Once the worksheet is printed, you may submit your online verification worksheet by clicking Submit. Once you see a screen that reads, your application was successfully submitted, then congratulations, you are done with the online form. Remember to sign and submit the hard copy you have printed and turn it in at the Office of Scholarships and Financial Aid. Thanks for watching.